Hey there, you're welcome to another tutorial and this is an excerpt from our Ama Piano course that was just newly released. If you'd like to get the course, you can click the link in the description or check the tagged product of this video. Let's get started. Now that we've created our project and installed our resource pack, let's create a simple drum pattern. Remember our tempo is still 112 beats per minute. So what you have to do now is open our channel rack by clicking this icon right here. Okay. And you want to make sure that this is always showing you all. Okay. So we come to the packs, and we'll come to my piano resource pack right here. And we're going to start with the drums, okay? So I'm going to come to the ultimate my piano um, drum kit. Then we want to start, you could start with the rim shots or the percussions, okay? Or even the snares. So I'm going to start with the rim shots. So this is how they sound. To pick this, we we'll need about three different sounds. Click this as well. Just three sounds you like. I like this as well. So now sometimes FO Studio does have a glitch where you bring in sounds and it may sound different from um, the original library. For example, you can hear that versus two different things, right? But it's very easy to fix in case if you have this problem. Just simply click this, okay? Come to this settings icon right here. And make sure you can see some numbers right here. Make sure it's on C5. So you scroll and then you right click this key, this white key right here. Then you right click it. Now it's normal. So if I click this and I press this, you see it's normal. So you do the same for all the sounds you bring in. This as well needs that um, fix. So we'll come right here. Then we'll see if this needs to do the same thing. Perfect. So now let's create um, a quick and simple pattern. So you just start with any of these um, patterns. For example, if I start with this guy, turn off the metronome. This is your counter or your metronome. For example, if I press play, you can press play by pressing your space bar. So that is the sound. Now you want to count two steps forward. One, two, and then I can click down here. There should be two steps between your first note and your second note, you see. Now we need a third, another two steps. Perfect, now we have that going on, right? So you could start from anywhere. You don't have to start from here. I could, I could also start from um, this point right here. Then two steps, another two steps. You could start from there, you could even start from the very beginning as well. Just pick a place you like and start from there, okay? So now we have that going on, okay? So let's add our kick. I'm going to go with this. I like this. You can always change the sounds. If maybe you don't you made a mistake or you don't like the sound, you could drag and drop to replace it, or you could even just right click and click delete. Okay. So I like the sound, bring it in here. And you can also adjust the volume of each sound with this knob right here in case if you feel like a sound is too loud or not loud enough you can left click and increase it and you can see the details at the top left panel this is called the hint panel it tells you about any button you click for example if i highlight my mouse here you can see it tells you channel volume at 82 percent so if i reduce it 66 percent increase it 100 percent so you know you just take it back then just have our kick black red black red This is a nice and simple drum pattern. Now, this is one of the most popular ways to play my piano drum pattern, but there's also another pattern I want to show you in this course, okay? So I'm going to create a new pattern by coming to this top pattern right here and just roll my mouse up, or you can just left click and move it up to create an empty pattern. So this pattern sounds like this. You have your rim shot like this. Ta, ta, ta. It goes like this. And then you lay it with your kick by right clicking, copy, then you have your kick. So this is another popular my piano drum pattern. And we'll look at how to detail it, you know, to make it even more interesting. But let's come back to the first pattern. So now let's add 
percussions, okay? We'll add like two percussions. Just pick some sounds you like. I like this sound. I like the sound as well. So, see, we don't have that issue this time around. You can see they're both on C5. They're both on C5 this time, right? So, now you want to play your percussions, you know, as simple as possible. So, I click here. So one of the notes needs to dodge the kick, okay? And if you can make both notes dodge the kick, fine, right? You get more rhythms. But if you must have one of the notes dodge, hitting the kick, it needs to be just one, not two, okay? One can, do, for example, you can see right here, this is not aligned with the kick, but this is aligned with the kick, right? So one of the notes at least needs to dodge the kick. I'm trying not to play more than two notes. This is not a rule, it's only a guide, okay? And my second rim sh um, percussion, rather. Yeah, so I like that pattern. So let's hear how it will work for the second pattern. Same principle, right? So I can have this right here. Can be as simple as that or you can even do it this way you could be as simple as that right so let's come back to our pattern so now let's add a layer for our rim shot so i prefer to use a snare you could use a percussion a rim or a snare okay so but i prefer to use a snare Let's try this. So you will come right here. Make sure it's on C5. So I have to do is trace your rims, right? It starts here. This is the first rim. Another one, then another one. Then let's hear it sounds. Raise the volume a little. If we go to our second pattern, we could also do the same. Copy, paste. All right, so just as simple as that. So now that we've created our drum track, let's drag it into the playlist. Drag it in here. Again, if you can't find your playlist, simply click this icon right here. It should pop up, right? And make sure your playlist is in bar mode, okay? Click this magnet icon and it should take you here and you should click bar mode, okay? So we want to extend this so I repeat four times so I can have four bars, okay? So once you drag it in, you can right click to take it out. But once you drag it in, simply press command B or control B to duplicate it so that we have one, two, three, four, four bars, okay? So now we need to add shaker loops. Okay, so we have shakers and hats here. So we can add the shaker loop here on track two. And when you double tap on it, it comes up with the sampler menu so you can reduce the volume. So let's change it from pattern to song mode and see how it sounds. That's nice. Let's turn it off for now and try to compare with a different one. Then we're listening. And you know, there are about 13 different sounds right here. So you can compare with as many as you like to see, you know, what feels best for your own production. Again, adjust the volume. I think I like this more. So if you observe, we have an excess of clips compared to the four bars we have for our track one. That's our original drum track. So just get your knife tool and just cut out, you know, the, the sound you like. Just cut them out like this. Then go back to your pen tool, then right click and take 
each one out. That's the sounds that you do not need to take them out. Let's take this up here. And increase the volume a little. Then we also have a hat. Let's drag it in here as well and see how it sounds. Yes. Now you don't always need a hat, but you know, I like how it sounds, so I'm going to leave it in there. If you don't like how it sounds, you can take it out in your own production. You can press Command Z to bring things back when you delete stuff. 